Michael Rosso here from the Film Photography Project, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Polaroid 104 automatic land camera. Now, you may be saying, Well, Mike, you know, uh, what's with this Polaroid? Every video is the same. It's about Polaroid, the same camera. Hey, get off it. This video is about the Polaroid 104 automatic land camera, and what's different from this video than the video from the last episode... Last episode! ...is the fact that this was the first... Polaroid automatic land camera to feature a plastic camera casing hmm. and a plastic lens. Ooh. It's a simplified version of the original Polaroid 100 camera, and because it's been simplified, it was less expensive for a consumer to buy. They wanted this camera to be in every household, which they did a very good job of doing. Today we're going to be using the FP3000B, show you what that's like. Also, in front of me, I have a flash, an electronic flash, I'm going to talk about that, and our original FPP bracket, so you can put the flash on your camera. This is the original battery design, a 3-volt battery for the 3-volt Polaroid automatic cameras. First thing is battery compartment. Always, doesn't matter what camera, vintage camera, battery compartment. This camera takes... 3-volt batteries. You can get this battery at filmphotographystore.com, batterymart.com, radioshack.com, and you take your lead, you plug it in here. No <coughs> violence. No violence. You put this in the little battery cradle. Sink. Put this here. There you go. Now it's on. It's good. We're ready to go. A good tip for Polaroid land cameras of this variety once you have your battery in place, you may want to know, before putting film in, does the camera work? And in order to find that out, you could do a test by cocking the shutter and then pointing it in a not-so-lit area, a not-so-well-lit area, and you'll hear the shutter click twice. Let's, let's, let's take a listen. That means this camera works. If the battery was out of the camera, you would still get a, a shutter click, but you get one click. This camera, you may ask, well, what's different about the 104 and other cameras that are of the plastic variety? What's very different is the viewfinder. This is not a rangefinder viewfinder where you have a double image that you line up. This is known as a index finder, and when you look through the eyepiece, you will see two lines. One line is stationary, and the other one moves. And as the line moves, in the viewfinder, you will see feet. 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 The line, as you focus, by the way, you focus by moving this back and forth. Polaroid built in sort of a helper. If you're shooting a human being that has a normal-sized head, you could take those lines, you put the head in between the line. I kid you not. You know, consult, consult your manual. Here it is. This ha Harry Nielsen looking guy, he's focusing right there, tells a story. And here, see the arrows, how they, one stays stationary, the other moves, and you can size his head to the amount of feet that you are, you know, the distance from your subject. Many people ask, which Polaroid land camera should I get? And most sites recommend the rangefinder viewfinder, the glass lenses, and the uh, metal bodies. And I have to tell you from personal experience, I like both. I can't make a, a, a cut and dry decision of which camera I really like because I like both. These are light. These are much lighter. And the viewfinder is different. This one actually shows you the feet in the viewfinder. So sometimes I really want to just quickly, oh, okay, you're about three feet and just do it fast. Anyhow, you open the back. Every camera is the same. But bottom button. Always the front part. This is where the film is. As you can see, there's a window there. This is where your film will be. Right now, a black card is protecting your film. So this closest to your lens, always. This, that just, just, just nicely, boom, snaps in. It's like a tomb for film. Here are your tabs. You want to make sure your tabs are always out, just like that. Close it, both hands, nice and easy. Here we go. Ready? The first thing you'll do when you want to shoot with your Polaroid automatic land camera, regardless of what model, is you pull out the black card. Today I'm shooting in the studio, and I'm going to shoot with a flash. Now you can buy the original Polaroid 168 flash that goes on top of the camera, mounts on top of the camera, and uses M3 flash bulbs 
There's another video online so you can see what the M3 flash bulbs are. But today, I'm going to be shooting with electronic flash, which we also talked about in a different video. This is the FPP designed flash bracket so you can use a PC, not a personal computer, PC adapter, that's this, flash with your Polaroid land camera. Snaps oh. right in. Look at that. In. Make sure it's in good. There it is. There it is. Good, good, good. Now, on all of these Polaroid pack cameras, you also have dark and lighten here on your lens. This actually turns. Hmm. And it really is to personal taste and your own experience. You will need to experiment with your Polaroid land camera because this is a 40 plus year old camera. You know, even though it's been kept very well, this is old technology and there may be some lags or, uh, you know, it's, what would you say, John? It's, uh, Elderly. It's elderly. Yeah, this is elderly. There we go. Oh. Hmm. Wow! What a ball! And that's it. That's how to shoot with the Polaroid 104 land camera. There's something online called the land list. Hmm. And it is an entire database, John, and folks out there listening, of the entire... Uh, camography of these cameras from the Polaroid 100 all the way through to the Polaroid 450 telling you about you know bits and bobs about each camera so you can make a decision for yourself of course I'm here always to answer questions film photography podcast at gmail.com yeah. and I also host the internet radio show film photography podcast please do you know check it out film photo check it out filmphotographypodcast.com twice a month. John Fideli, myself, Matt Marash, we have a great time. Don't forget about the filmphotographystore.com where you can actually purchase these cameras. See, they're a little squeaky. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you next time.